welcome to control system 26 yeah so today we are doing this type of question uh, where you are asked to calculate um, your sine wave delay your amplitude your percentage overshoot your frequencies so in this case they wanted the dumping frequency sometimes it can be a natural unnatural I mean undamped natural frequency it can be bandwidth frequency it can be peak frequency and also a peak time for wave to reach maximum overshoot <laughs> excuse me okay so guys um if we go to our formula sheet first page of the formula sheet so we can see we have uh, first we have the the damped frequency there which is the uh, undamped natural frequency uh, square root of 1 minus damping ratio squared on the side here we have peak time tp which is 1 over f Then we also have formula for number of oscillation. We have uh, damping coefficient. We have overshoot. We have this symbol. If you remember from the question, this is a sine wave delay. See, they even gave you a symbol. Then another symbol for amplitude is this one. So if you check amplitude there, you have amplitude equals to that symbol. Then there is another equal sign here. It's just that every time you you do this, I mean every time the formula sheet on the formula sheet there's this omission there. Then we have WP there, which is almost like WD, but inside the square root you have one minus two s squared. That one was just one minus. Then the shield square. Then you have WP, which is bandwidth. Yeah, so guys, if they ask you to uh, calculate anything, you just stick to the formula sheet and you'll never go wrong. But there are just few tricks you have to be aware of, which I will show you, especially with your, your sine wave delay. The formula sheet is incomplete, the formula there. But I think if you use it the way it is, the answers will be the same. I've seen it, I've checked it with, uh, with uh, previous examples. Yeah, it's the same. Because, I mean, the missing part is also like a fraction, a complicated fraction. So it's not easy to remember that. So just stick to this. The only thing you'll have to remember is the peak time. Because so every time they they ask for the peak time so don't forget that the formula okay let's get started so for starters let's start with the sign delay angle so sign delay so this is the formula sheet we have the formula i mean the formula we have from the formula sheet uh it's what where square root of 1 minus that over minus that plus pi so we have something like this dumping the shio over negative dumping the shio plus pi and they are showing you that this is in red so guys if so when you calculate this you should make sure your calculator is in red otherwise if your calculator is in degrees you are going to replace your pi with 180 so make sure it's up to you but when you write the formula you should write it like that because even in, in uh, your memorandums you will see sometimes they write plus 180 but you don't have to write plus 180 you can just change your calculator to red because remember uh, pi, pi red is equals to 180 degrees so it's up to you If you leave this as decrease and you use this formula, you will get a wrong answer. So make sure you calculate it in red. Okay, so in memorandums, when they calculate, they have this. They 
this additional part to the formula which is not in the formula sheet but yeah so you can add that if you remember it or you can leave it you can leave the formula as it is from the formula sheet the answers are more or less the same for example the question we are going to do uh, when I did it with this formula I got 1,68 when I did it without this part, I got 1.69, so more or less the same. Okay, let's move on. Then we have uh, we have another formula which is for amplitude, which is uh, one plus uh, where are you here? One plus e exponent that. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna copy this formula because we gonna. Okay, let me just copy. Dumping factor pi n over square root. Our dumping factor pi n. So this n is your number of peaks. So you will see with the questions even here, they say calculate the what is it? The amplitude of the first peak. So n is the first peak. So it's one. So if it's the second peak, it will be n will be two, and so on. Okay, what other formula do we have? Overshoot, it's there. So overshoot, it's like this part of the amplitude without the one plus, if you can check it. But guys, all of this are in the formula sheet. Overshoot percentage. So overshoot, it's this part. And guys, you should also pay attention. So if, if they just say calculate overshoot, you are just going to calculate this but if they say percentage then make sure you multiply the 100 percent to convert to convert it into percentage then what else do we have uh, yeah i think that's all we know how to calculate wd it's from uh, wd is from the formula for wn we did this part okay is this jamming or Then we have peak. Guys, if you check the peak uh, time, they say 1 over F. But F is also. Okay, let me just write the formula. The answer for this will be this over WT. I will show you how this is 1 of pi over WT. Let, let me do it here quick quick because this is 1 over f and we know f if you check the formula for wd from the formula sheet they said wn 1 minus this equals to 2 pi f so what would be my f will be wd over 2 pi I hope you can see that be wd over 2 pi so which means f will be wd over 2 pi then we know that's the same as 2 pi over wd but this is for time only remember the formula for time is 1 over frequency which is that but this is peak time so remember if you look at your wave your wave let's say a sine wave the wave is like this frequency is the time it completes one full oscillation right that's frequency that's time for one second right so how many peaks do you have you have two peaks so that's why this formula instead of 2f we said only instead of two of them we said only one you see just like that So yeah, that's that's the only formula which you can't see straight from the formula sheet. It's not there. You can try to work around it, but it's not there. So you should remember it. It's pi over wt your peak time. Okay, now yeah, here's these are the, all the formulas you're going to need. This one, this one. They are all in the formula sheet. This one, this one, and this one. 
and you have other ones that look P, that look P, depending on the question. Okay, let's get started with the question here. Okay, here the same question seven. I think this is uh, April 2019, somewhere 2019. Check it out. Oh, let me just check it for you. August 2019. Okay, let's say a certain depth circuit has a damping ratio of uh, 0.12 and a damping natural frequency of 6 rad per second. So 0.12 and 6 rad per second. Let's get to that real quick. So they gave us damping ratio of 0.12 and they gave us WM of 6. set the sine wave delay and I said you can use the formula like they use in the answer sheet or you can use I mean in the memo or you can use the one straight from the formula sheet without that other part don't forget if they say plus pi make sure your calculator is in degrees in, in radians I'll have what? 1 minus 0.12 squared over negative 0.12 plus pi. So now check where's my calculator. You see my calculator there, it shows D. That's for degree. So I'm going to change it to radians which is number 4 then you see arc time of everything there let me do ok that's arc time of that plus pi if I press that I'm getting 1,691 that's uh, like a length is amplitude so it's going to be units Confirm is yes, six nine one. Okay, now question number two. Amplitude of the first peak. Then, so guys, when I do the calculation on the calculator, I'm just gonna pause. So when you watch the video, it will be like it, uh, there's there's few things I just because I'm trying to minimize the length of the video. For example, here I'm gonna pause and I'll come back with the full formula. Okay, so that's the formula for amplitude there. Then I do my substitution. Okay, I put it in the calculator so you can pause the video and do everything there and get the answer. Just try to minimize the length of the video. So I'm getting uh, 1.684. Okay. The last question, I think I made a huge mistake. 1.684. Uh, uh, units. I remember here. Remember the last question was not amplitude was uh, the sine delay angle. So this should be in red. And even the formula. Remember they told for you that the red. This should be in red. I just remember when I calculate the amplitude now. This is the angle, it should be in red. This, this one is the amplitude, it should be a length, so in units. 1.684. Then, number 3, uh, calculate percentage overshoot. Remember the formula for percentage overshoot? It's that E pi damping factor pi n over square root of 1 minus that which is what we did on the previous question remember guys with this n was 
the three like I was I just I was quick that this n is the number of peaks and they said for the first peak like so if you check the percentage of a shoot is like the this part all of it so which means it's like saying what it's like saying the previous answer minus this one see but obviously when you do this question you must solve the substitution but you don't have to put it in the calculator okay mm. or you can if you are not if you just want to confirm if uh, you substituted well from the previous question but for me i'm not gonna put it in the in this side okay because i trust my answer so uh, previous answer i got uh, 1.66 so this one will be 0 0.68 but remember this is percentage so multiply by 100 so if you multiply this by 100 I'm getting 68.1 percent that's my percentage of a shoot yeah so guys I don't have to re-explain things this is a video you can just go back pause and make sense of it okay next question the dumping ratio this is the easiest we have right because you know the formula the dumping frequency I mean the damped frequency which is the natural the undamped natural frequency which is the natural frequency one minus that squared they said this is six in the question this is point one two squared so if I do that quickly I have six WD they substituted this formula again but there's no need guys some things there's no need I can just substitute the answer I think this was five four nine five seven and this is time don't forget this is time so I can just say pi divided by answer make it here see that's why I like posting this stuff like this I'm getting 0 0.53 seconds. You see, just like that, guys. We are done. I'll see you when we do another exercise.